First, we will specify that we are going to perform an axisymmetric analysis, highlight geometry in the tree, and for 2D behavior, change that to axisymmetric. This means that the element formulation that will be used will be, you know, an axisymmetric element formulation rather than the plane, plane um, stress formulation, which is the default. And in axisymmetric, you should interpret this um, um, coordinate as the uh, radial coordinate and this as the axial coordinate. And you'll get the full geometry if you revolve this 2D geometry 360 degrees about the axis, which is this uh, puppy here. Next, we need to assign the material properties um, specifically Young's modulus and Poisson ratio that are going to be used in the element formulation, expand geometry in the tree, and highlight surface body. And you see that the material assignment is structural steel, which is the default. And so um, ANSYS will pull out, you know, E and nu for structural steel, um, or the Young's modulus and Poisson ratio for structural steel. And, you know, in our case, the stress concentration factor is not going to be affected by the um, by the material properties, the displacements and the strains will. So we'll just use the default material properties since we're going to be focusing on the stress concentration factor. Next, um, let's assign the boundary conditions for the problem. And if I go back to the problem specification, um, it basically you're pulling on both ends and you can mimic this in, uh, in our FEA setup by pulling on this edge and setting a frictionless support, uh, so-called frictionless support on this end. And that effectively uh, means that this uh, edge can move only parallel to itself and it cannot move perpendicular to itself. And so you get a reaction force that will be equal to this force since that reaction has to balance the applied force. So let's apply a frictionless support over here. By the way, you might have the ruler turned on. So view ruler. And I'll just turn that off. So you can turn that off um, because we don't really need it here. And so I'll go to, um, I'll highlight static structural in the tree. And under supports, I will specify frictionless support. I'll, so select that and select this edge as the edge where you want to apply the frictionless support and click apply. Okay, and answers shows that you have applied frictionless support to that edge. And then we need to pull on this edge. So to um, impose that boundary condition, select loads, pressure, and we are going to apply the pressure to that edge. So select that edge, apply. And for magnitude, that is 1000 PSI, and you set the um, you use a negative sign because you're pulling on the edge rather than pushing on it. And if you're not getting PSI as the unit, you can go here and select the right unit. So make sure your units are PSI and your value is minus 1,000. And so to review all the boundary conditions, you can go um, and highlight static structural in the tree. And you see that there's a frictionless support and there's a pressure. And it says it's zero PSI, but it's actually, if I highlight pressure, it's minus 1,000. So for some reason, it's not updating that value. But since we check it over here, this is what matters more. So um, we'll go with that. So boundary conditions seem fine. Um, so save the project. And we will move up next to the numerical solution.